1st of May, 1941, the first night of the May Blitz. Just before 11 p.m., 43 enemy aircraft attack Merseyside. The first bombs fall onto Wallasey. We The second night of the May Blitz. 65 enemy aircraft bomb Liverpool city centre for over two hours. We were watching Liverpool in flames and the burning embers from Lewis was set like this on fire. The gunpowder is gone now. The third and the most devastating night of the May Blitz saw 298 enemy aircraft attack Merseyside for six hours. services are stretched and water is scarce. Everywhere was all cordoned off and we didn't have any water for three days. We walked down to Addison Street and as we were walking down I remember looking over and seeing the top part of the school it was all bombed and there was rubble coming out of the windows and the doors and uh, people were digging with their hands. 5th of May, 1941, the fifth night of the May Blitz. Residential areas are severely damaged. We came out and we saw that my grandma's house the whole row of houses had all been bombed. Great Orphan Street, which is around the corner from the Catholic Cathedral, when we walked down there, there was a girl and she was standing on top of the debris in our house and she was screaming, get my mum out, get my mum out. I mean, you went into work and then you'd say cheerio to everybody and then the next morning some of the faces didn't appear. They'd be killed. of the May Blitz, St. Luke's Church is hit by an incendiary device. Head of the German state 
signed the act of unconditional surrender. Today is victory in Europe day. During the May Blitz, there were something like 13 different churches bombed. Six were demolished, six were rebuilt, and St. Luke's was left. Nobody knew quite what to do with it. Opening St. Luke's and having good things go on there was to try and counter that atmosphere of darkness and replace it with something good that would bring people together rather than separate them. During Chinese New Year, you'll see 3,000 people sitting on those steps, waiting for the parade to come by. When the giants came to Liverpool, people stood on the steps of the church. It is a focal point for the city. Even though it's crumbling, it still looks like it should be here, and it should stay here. I think it's peaceful. It's enchanting. It's a sanctuary. People in Liverpool will learn every day about the horrors of war through St. Luke's and seeing it as a testament to the bravery of the people of Liverpool.